Yo people out there in YouTube land, yes, guess where I am. I'm having another food adventure today and I'm going to this place here across the road. Yeah. That's the place I'm going to. So join me as I eat some food over there. Okay then, see you around. So along North Bridge Road is this corner shop called Dim Sum Place. And here they sell dim sum. And let's get in here and let's see what else they sell. And so I decided to drop by to this place um, for lunch, early bre late breakfast lunch, and it's actually halal certified. And so we're gonna go in here and let's see what we can order. So this is the basic decor of the restaurant, very basic. And then this is the menu on the table. So what you do is, these are the items they have. You have your dim sum items, your deep fried or baked items. They use have noodles and rice, and also uh, roast meats. And once you decide what you want, you actually scan in this IR code, and it will bring you to a web, a website, a web page where you can place your order. All very simple. All very internet easy. And then, these are the basic items that I ordered. And the prices. Yep. So, are we ready to eat? So, let's get eating. First up is their steamed chicken siu mai with prawn. I quite like this. It has a good flavour to the meat. It's salty, savoury with chicken meat flavour. Quite nice and I also like the small little fish eggs on top which when you bite into it, it gives us nice little pop. Quite nice. And you eat it together with these two types of chilli sauce. I think on the left side is the spicier chilli sauce. You can see the chilli seeds in there. So you have this uh, siu mai. And then over here is the uh, egg tart. One thing about the egg tart is the egg tart size is very very small compared to other egg tarts. Other egg tarts are probably twice the size of this egg tart but it does have a nice eggy pleasant flavour to it with a pastry crust. The size of the siu mai is normal, quite normal and taste wise quite tasty. I quite like the siu mai. Just that, the egg tart. I'm going to show you the egg tart soon. How small is it in my hand? Oh man, I could like pop 20 in my mouth at one go. Next up, what I ordered was some spring roll, which was quite nice. Nice crispy skin. Uh, a lot of turnip inside and you eat it together with a sweet sauce which is beside it which goes quite well together then you have their molten uh, salted egg yolk custard bun which should be called watery bun because the filling is a bit watery and then after that also came their duck char siu pao and then their prawn dumpling and you can tell how good a uh, Dim sum place is by the quality of their, uh, dump, their shrimp dumpling or their hakao. And so, what shall I eat first? Hmm. Okay, we should go in the sequence that they came in. So, what came in first was the spring roll, dipped into the sweet sauce, nice and sweet, goes very well with the turnip, packed full with turnip, crispy skin. I quite like the spring roll. I do like the spring roll. I like spring roll in general. So, if you like crispy, sweet stuff, this is for you. Then, I ordered eating the prawn dumpling here. Ok, 
okay. The prawn dumpling, the skin is slightly too thick for my preference. Normally, it should be thinner. Then, but I like there's whole pieces of prawn in there, and the prawn is seasoned very well. And when you eat it when it's still hot, it has a nice bouncy, fresh feel to it. Quite good. Just that the skin is a bit too thick. Okay, back to another spring roll because I like the crunchiness. Ooh, crunchy, crunchy. Okay, now it's the custard. At the bottom there, there's some kind of like a cup, a pastry cup. Oh, look at that. Oh. Easily breaking through. Somehow the bun is very pretty. So, it does taste like a salted egg yolk custard sweet. Slightly uh, salted egg yolk taste. But one thing is too watery. Next is the uh, dark char siu bun. Interesting is, there's no paper at the bottom there. So you have a very nice, flavorful, sweet, salty, strong char siu flavor in the bun. A bit too sweet, a bit too salty, but quite nice. The meat cut up into such small pieces that you can't tell that it's not pork. You can't even tell what our meat it is. But I must say, the bun, the steamed bun, the stuck char siu bun, actually a very very good approximation of what you normally get at other places. Just that it's a bit too sweet, a bit too salty. A bit, yeah. Other than that, good. And then, look at that. So minuscule. It's hard. So small. It looks like toys in my hand. I look like a giant eating that egg tart. Look at it again. See? This is the duck char siu bun. Steam bun. There's actually no pieces of paper at the bottom there. Whereas you take their custard, their salted egg yolk custard bun, there's actually a cup, a pastry cup. So when you open up the bun, you can see, look at that. Whew, nice, good. A bit too salty, a bit too sweet, but the flavors are all there. I quite like the bun, just that, like I said, a bit too salty, a bit too sweet. Help me enjoy the bun, look at that. Ooh. But of course, the bun is a bit small, but nowadays, it's like a trend for people to make small char siu buns, which I do not approve of. I prefer my buns to be normal size or bigger the better. And then, like I said, one thing I also don't like is their custard bun here. The filling is too watery. Look at this. Let me just show it to you how watery it is. It's supposed to be watery, but not this watery. It's just, uh, yeah, it's almost the consistency of uh, juice. That. And so, what do I think of this place? Well, uh, certain items I did quite enjoy, which was the uh, dark char siu bun, and maybe the uh, chicken uh, siu mai, which was okay. Then the other items just quite average. They are selling items that most in some places sell, so nothing unique, nothing special about the uh, selection of food here. Then, uh, price-wise, is the price you expect to pay for the location. Not cheap, but also not super expensive at some places. And then, one thing I also like is this place is halal certified. So, um, a lot of our Muslim friends can come here and eat and try uh, dim sum too. A good place to come for dim sum. You know, if you want to try dim sum or eat dim sum, this is a place that you can come and try. So as per usual, you know what to do, like, share and subscribe and then if you see any of the windows around me, click on those too, there are things for you to do and things for me to do too, so let's do things together, alright? Okay then, see you around and bye bye!